If we can't say no to something in our life, how can we really say yes? And what the fasting does is it allows a no to give a yes. So that when I can see a desire that comes to my heart and something for that is good, true, and beautiful, or something that maybe I've indulged in that you know st just needs correcting or it needs to be um, purified a bit, what that does is it gives me the wherewithal and the power of Jesus Christ to say no to this so I can say yes to this. Because Jesus is always inviting us to a greater yes. And so what we find often in our souls is that we have little things in our hearts, like it's stuff, it's sometimes it's even like potato chips or it's like a certain Netflix show that you like or all the different things that we kind of take time doing. It's these little things that we think, oh, it's not such a big deal. And we have such a hard time saying no to them. And there's a reason why we do, because they're fulfilling something right? Or they're speaking something to us. But when we can, fasting is something that actually brings out a certain agony. It brings out a certain crucifixion, as it should. But what it does is it purifies our hearts, and it gives our hearts freedom to say yes to the things that truly matter. And then many times when we go say go back to certain things that we fasted from during Lent, and we experience them again, and we experience the beautiful pleasure of what they are when they're good, true, and beautiful, we can receive them as the Lord is asking us to receive them that we're not turning to them as idols, but we can love goodness, we can love truth, we can love beauty, we can love pleasure, we can love the beautiful things of this life in the way that God intends, which brings order to the whole soul. And that is exactly what fasting gives to us.